Filthy Films presents Greg Roberts! Hello everyone, this is my first time, so you get to pop my cherry. <laughs> uh, just a bit about myself, I'm 18, live here in Ottawa, go to, stu go to school in Carleton, yeah. and I uh, work at Starbucks. Anybody here going to Starbucks know exactly what they want? These people need to slow down. Alright, I get people like this. Yes, I'd like a trouble with the cafe and the, uh, 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 and then they're done. And I can't, I can't, uh, I can't get it in my head and press all the buttons what they're trying to say. And you don't want to mess with the people that make your drinks. Now, I don't want to get in trouble for saying that because we signed a contract at the beginning. It's like, first rule of Starbucks, never talk about Starbucks. <laughs> Anyone in here have a big dick? Okay. See, it must be nice to have a large penis, but it has to have some drawbacks. My biggest big dick fear would have to be going to sit down in a public washroom, or any washroom for that matter, and it falls in. <laughs> How disgusting must that be? It must be a problem affecting stallions every day. <laughs> now, not many men face this problem, but women face problems in the washroom every day. Ladies, how many times have you gone to go pee, and there's pee all over the seat? All the time, right? I'm not making excuses, but I think I know why this happens. It is the biggest punch in the face to a man's ego to miss while he's peeing. And that's why he doesn't wipe it up. Because it's so degrading, you're thinking, I've been peeing for 18 years and I still don't have full control. <laughs> now, I try to wipe it up as much as I can because I miss quite often and I get distracted. <laughs> because I don't want to be an asshole, right? But I'm slowly becoming an asshole because I take the bus every day. But you learn lots of lessons on the bus. First lesson I learned, never sit beside someone you know because it's going to get awkward. You can speak for maybe five minutes, carry on a good conversation, and then you run out. And I've seen sad attempts to revive a conversation, but it's always stuff like, oh, I noticed you wear a thong. Very nice <laughs> choice for a man. <laughs> um, I forgot what I was going to say here. But, uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Very nice choice for a man. Continuing on. <laughs> Smell that? Christmas is in the air. It's probably gonna suck this year though, the way I see it. Santa's just been too busy. He's that spokesperson for the Christian Children's Fund over in Africa. You know those really sad commercials on what used to be TBS, fucking Peachtree? Um, what I don't get is why doesn't Santa just give the starving kids some of his extra milk and cookies? He's a fat ass anyways, and he needs to eat all the sweets. How is Santa not a diabetic? He's almost too good to be true. I'm starting to think this guy's not real. I do love Christmas though, all that extra food. But I wonder, do the sewers get backed up? Because there has to be extra shitting during Christmas time. And who the fuck invented one-ply toilet paper? Do you ever go into a washroom and you're expecting two-ply and it's one-ply? That's so fucking disappointing. And that shit gets messy. I do love to watch kids around Christmas time though. Um, the excited looks on their face. Can't wait to have my own children. I'm gonna tell them the craziest shit when they ask me questions like, Dad, where does rain come from? Oh, well, son, rain comes from when God takes a shower. <laughs> or where does thunder come from? Well, that's when God stubs his toe and gets angry. Like, Dad, where does snow come from? Well, son, that's when God decides to come everywhere and freeze it. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of worried about that one. <laughs> Um, then when they grow up, they're going to realize everything I've taught them, completely untrue. They're going to shatter their dreams. But hey, everybody needs to have their dreams crushed every once in a while, right? I had my dreams crushed a little while ago, um, when they announced that Pluto was no longer a planet. Anybody remember that? See, I had no emotional attachment to Pluto or anything, but when they, whoever they is, announced that Pluto had no longer planet status, they once and for all answered the age-old question of whether size mattered, and it was not in my favor. <laughs> That's my time. I'm going to have to say goodnight, and thanks for popping my chair. I love you all.